Hi folks, today I want to talk about installing the disc feed gearbox properly on a brake lathe. Um, there's a couple of things that you got to have, you got to understand about this. Um, this shaft here has two threads on it. One is for the feed nut and the other is for the coupler, which is this piece in here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but basically it's one of these on the end of the trap shaft that I covered in the other video. You need to have that washer in there so that when this screws on there, it hits a dead stop, right? If you don't have that in there, it'll go down too far and this edge will mushroom out and then it'll interfere with the operation of the feed nut. So when we go to mount this on there, we need to get all of our ducts in a row. <clears throat> the first thing is getting the feed mechanism, the trap shaft and all the drive, actually hooked onto there correctly. So you put the gearbox in gear. And then very carefully screw it on there like this. With it in the fast gear, it'll hold it. You hold that in gear and tighten it down. Then you put it in neutral and screw it on to the actual feed screw. Then you put these four nuts on there, bolts. And then we have to line this portion up. And this has a, this one actually, the PTO actually has a problem. I want to show you what's going on there. Okay, so now we'll turn it on. Okay, there's a little rattle there coming from that. Okay, this rattle comes from this not being lined up perfectly. This little part right here needs to be lined up right on the center line of the spinning axis of this pulley. <clears throat> There's three adjustments you can make to correct that. The first is, you can move the gearbox back and forth. The second is, you can turn this a little bit back and forth to get it to line up. And the third is, you can place these shims in here, in between the body of this and the body of that, to move it out that way. So that gives you this angle, 
this dimension and rotating it this way and that way. Once you've got everything lined up, it should be pretty good. This one has kind of an unusual problem in that these two holes won't let this line up perfectly. And what you do is you take these two bolts out, pull this thing out, and open up those holes with a reamer like this so that you can get a little clearance in there to wiggle it back and forth. When they were made originally, they had some clearance on there, but the bolts get tightened down and they smash everything, so you might not be able to make the adjustment that you want to make. So let me show you how that goes. You don't have to get it exactly, but you do need to to get it into a position where it runs quietly because you can't have it sitting there rattling like a like an old diesel semi truck that's got too much mileage on it Basically come in there like that. On both sides. Put that bad boy back in there. Okay, you, now you can fiddle around with the gearbox while the machine is running and rotate it this way and that way but when you're going to play around with this one <clears throat> don't do that because once you loosen these this whole thing will start beating itself to pieces as soon as these bolts come loose. So you have to adjust that like by eyeball and then start it up and see how it goes. Okay, that's pretty good. That's actually all there is to it. Um, first is make sure you get the coupling correctly tightened down lined up there then adjust the gearbox this way adjust the gearbox here and if you can't get the distance here add shims underneath there you can make them out of paper you don't have to buy these special shims a lot of times i use uh, depending on how far i have to go i might just use a couple of thin sheets of paper or a piece of an old uh, oil plastic oil bottle or maybe a, um, a hunk of three-ply cardboard if you need something that's really thick. <clears throat> but you just need to get that like pretty close to on center there and it won't make any noise. And that will keep all this from beating itself to death. Anyway, hope this helps everybody. Thanks for your time. If you like these videos, make sure to hit like and subscribe. I'll keep making them. Thanks.